fish tacos. Today we're cooking fish tacos. Oh no. So we start off by pouring a half cup of virgin olive oil. And now you want to pour one teaspoon of salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and ginger powder. One take, didn't have to do it multiple times. Let's go. So you want to stir that all in and make sure it's a good consistency and it's all spread out. Now it's time for the fish. You want to soak up your fish and that seasoning so much that it'll get to the other side even if that's not possible because when you eat this fish when it's cooked and prepared all you're gonna be tasting is that seasoning and you're gonna love it okay you're gonna love it okay so you want to keep massaging your fish for at least like one to two minutes and then when your hands finally get oily enough you go wash them like I did once you're done washing your hands you want to just take your fish and put it on the side so it can just soak in all that seasoning. Junk food cuisine does not have the juice. Junk food cuisine has the sauce. Anyways, you want to add three tablespoons of mayonnaise because mayonnaise is the most important part of this sauce and without it you basically have no sauce. Like, you have no sauce. One tablespoon of chili powder. That looks so pretty. And just enough sriracha sauce for your taste buds to burn. I'm joking. You want to just mix that up until it's like saucy. It doesn't have to be super liquidy and it shouldn't be super thick. It has to be a good saucy, a good saucy texture. So you want to get your lime and you want to just soften it up by rolling it. You don't have to use a lime, but we wanted to use a lime. You can use lime juice, that's completely fine. Literally no difference. Watch your finger. Thank you, Renee. So now that you got your lime, you want to just sprinkle some of it onto your sauce. And the lime's really gonna make your sauce stand out and it's gonna make it more saucy instead of it's the, how thick it is. Thick with three C's. <laughs> And you want to just taste it and it tastes spicy time to get the fish and the fish should be fully soaked in that seasoning right now ready to be cooked you want to set your stove to a medium high heat and then upon cooking it you want to start lowering the heat to about half of it. for all my viewers bubble was not hurt Renee not so much the stove should be warm enough now and let's start placing our fish. One. And two. You want to cook each side for about three minutes. Just let it sit in the oil. Don't move it around too much or you're going to have to cook one side and once you cooked one side you want to flip it and then leave that side for about three minutes and let it cook through we poured a little extra seasoning for more flavor and now you want to just turn the heat down to about half of what you started with just let the fish cook on one side and then flip it over to the other side and make sure that both sides are just a good golden brown. You want to get that perfect golden brown color for the perfect fish. Turn off your stove and then grab your fish and prepare it for it to be cut. Let's begin to cut the fish into thin strips. 
You want to cut into thin strips so you can put it easily on your fish taco. All the fish pieces right now are just too big for them, you know? So when you cut into thinner pieces, you can put as much as you want on your fish, and then you can have more taco. And voila, let's start. You want to put your sauce all over the top of your tortilla. Put as much as you want, as much as you like. And then start placing your fish. I like a lot of fish, so I personally put a lot. And your red and green peppers. We just put the radishes for picture purposes. You don't put them on the taco. Okay guys, it looks good, it smells good, and Renee's gonna come and try it. Okay, Renee? <sighs> All right, fish taco, huh? Yeah. I never had fish taco, honestly. This is like, um, <laughs> this is like a um, very simple recipe, like 20 minutes and you're done. A good lunch, good dinner if you choose. Let's try it. Everything is just flying off. Mmm. It's like spicy. Good spice. Yeah. It's not too spicy. Like, you can taste it. But it adds... Because when you just, like, put your finger in it and, like, lick it, you can taste the spice. Like, it's strong. But when it's with the fish and everything, it doesn't taste too strong. This is, like, something I would pay for when I'd, I'd go out. And, I'll totally pay for this. When I go out on lunch, you know, something you pay for. Nom nom oh, nom 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 That's good.